Monday. I've been to the Upper West, I've been to the Upper East, and since Friday I've been here. For me, from where I stand, it has been a good visit. But it was marred by the news of what happened yesterday in Accra. And so I'm asking you, and I want to join the Dean in asking you to pray for all those who were caught up in the tragedy in Accra yesterday. The deaths and the injured people. We pray for them, we pray for their souls, and we pray for their families that the Almighty will give them comfort and strength in these trying, time, these trying times. It is time these incidents came to a stop in Ghana. We cannot continue with them. I've asked the Vice President to go back to Accra to see with his own eyes and that of the minister what has taken place. We are going to have to come out with a clear policy on how to prevent such incidents in the future. Fortunately, cabinet will be meeting on Thursday and I believe out of that meeting the country will know what our program is, the comprehensive program that we intend to have to bring such incidents to a stop. The, 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 what happened yesterday is one too many. We cannot afford anything. I would like everybody involved in the industry to recognize that we will all have to make adjustments to be able to guarantee the safety and the security of our people so these things do not happen again. And I need the support and cooperation of the people of Ghana to make the policies that we'll be bringing out succeed so that such incidents become a thing of the past and not of our future.